to another Greenleaf Terrain video. This time I have a set of miniatures. They are Otherworld Miniatures? Miniatures? I think the company's called Otherworld Miniatures. Uh, they are a whole bunch of creatures. I'll jump the camera off the tripod, but I've got a kind of overview here so we can kind of go through a, what I remember. There's this giant slug. Uh, there's a whole bunch of big spiders, other spiders. These are spider men. Uh, type of beetles, we got some giant uh, ants, some larger ones at the back here, a whole bunch of frogs, big giant frog, got these land lizards, I did them up in a yellow, I had them done up in a olive scheme like the back of this guy, they're still kind of boring though. Uh, these are dungeon crawlers, a whole bunch of pack mules and horses, uh, more worms, some snakes back there, there's a crayfish, a uh, giant beetle, two rust monsters, uh, mud men, uh, just dudes. This guy's supposed to actually be sitting on here, but I wasn't sure if Matt wanted them on there, so I just left him off. There's the crab, uh, scorpion, some wolves, the boars, and in the back there, there's some mushrooms, and the one guy just didn't have a base, so he is baseless. But I'll jump the camera off the tripod and we'll check everything out a little bit closer. So starting in the front here we got these like ticks. I made them into the kind of radioactive style. And then moving back we have these worms that have been done up. Some of them in this kind of more realistic scheme with some black dots. And some of them are this brighter red and orange scheme. And then there are all of the kind of more slimy guys have been hit with the satin satin varnish, so they have a little bit of shine to them, make them kind of gre greasier. There's a bunch of frogs, and I like this big, I like this big toad. Give them a nice green to almost a yellow fade. And then we have the wolves and some boars. Moving back into the spiders. Some of the spiders, these guys I did with more realistic colors. They're really creepy looking. And then we have these weird mushrooms. A whole bunch more of the frogs and I guess they're like centipedes. Moving over we have these ants. I kind of went with like a fire ant colony. Got the larger warriors at the back and all the workers. I think there's like 12 of them and then there's four of the bigger ones. And then there's a whole bunch of these beetle dudes. And the purple worms. And a couple different color snakes. I really like this crayfish. At my cottage, being a kid, we always catch crayfish. And it's about the size of some of them we caught, so... It was kind of cool, even though it's massive for miniature scale. And we got these big rust monsters. This big... Also, I kind of went with the realistic colors with that guy. And this beetle here. He's got... I did a bit of speckling. That's not like overspray or anything. I came back and speckled all that in. dots in the front of the head there and stuff. Oh, this is a cool miniature. This guy's a land shark. And there's these mud men. I did them up using the same colors that I have for the basing, which is a sandry dust. Uh, Agrax and Yashubdi. So this guy's not, whoops, where is he? He's not supposed to be sitting there, but he's all painted up. We have these spider man And these spiders are kind of painted up in the same scheme. Then we got all the horses. 
I really like painting horses. Do them up with more of like a fur technique and then glaze them down. And it's got this cart. And these dungeon crawler guys have a whoop. They have blacks. And it's a purple to blue fade. Some green eyes. There are a couple explorer dudes. This guy's got a big backpack. And then there's this giant crab, scorpion, and the big slug. So I hope it went slow enough. You saw them all this time. So that gives you a closer look at this project overall. If you're interested in picking up something like this or any other custom terrain, you can email me at greenleaftrain at gmail.com. I'll get back to you with a quote. Other than that, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and happy wargaming.